From Bully to Brilliant is a book about overcoming and moving beyond bullying. It's a new way of looking at the problem. It's based on pretty much ancient teachings and the philosophies of Mahatma Gandhi, which is a peaceful, non-violent approach to overcoming bullies and dominant and aggressive people in your life. It's a way for parents, individuals, organisations, schools, teachers to support others who are experiencing the problem. It's a way to help solve the conflict in homes and it's a way for people to reach for their potential within the problem. The inspiration for this book came originally from being new parents and having young children and realising that we were fairly unprepared uh, to help them on that journey through school, given that we were raising children in a gentle environment at home and that school potentially had conflict and uh, difficulties that they were, they were as yet um, unfamiliar with. And when I started investigating the, the topic of bullying itself, uh, I realised that the, the implications of the problem go far beyond the playground. And Wayne and I discussed how we could approach this and realised that within families, and within workplaces, and within governments, and within organisations, the same problem represents itself over and over again. And therefore, it would be helpful, given the information that we had at that time, if we could pull together something that would be of help. Have any of your kids gone through bullying at school? All of them, in, in one form or another, uh, have experienced bullying and I'm sure once you understand the, the the thinking that goes into the book that they will have been all at times perceived perhaps as bullies it's inevitable that the perception of you is different from the projection that you imagine you're sending out to the world and that's one of the things I want to address in the book is that perception is not always accurate. Bullying is uh, an interplay between two human beings. It's not bad in and of itself. It's an exchange that happens. And in order for an exchange to happen, you have to have two parties. So you have to show up. In order to be bullied, by the way, you have to show up. So that would be one of the things that we address in the book, is how willing are you to show up in those circumstances and how much are you investing in the outcome of that moment. No, it's not that simple at all. How do you work, walk away when you're in a classroom? How do you walk away? But you can detach from the situation emotionally how do you stop taking it personally would be probably more accurate. Uh, how do you stop relying on other people's opinion of you to guide you through life or to act as your barometer as to how valuable you are as a human being? How do you change your perception of what's happening from one of you being defective or unlovable or lacking in some way? to one of a human being who is experiencing perhaps hostile or difficult circumstances temporarily. The ultimate goal with this book is to get into every single place it is needed. That's my ultimate goal. Uh, when I visualize the book, and I do, I visualize the process, I see like a matrix of little tiny sparks of light that all net together. It's a gift. The fundamental message in the book is that you can't climb a mountain if it's not there. I'm not opposed to bullying at all. I'm not opposed to bullies. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, a bully is someone who externalises their pain and a victim is someone who internalises their pain. They work together as a team.
Everybody who contributed to this book wrote from the heart and wrote significant stories that have made a huge difference to the book and will make a huge difference to the people who read the book. I am deeply honoured to have every single contributor within this project and I am blessed to, to call them friends. The book has been written with an international feel. It's filled with people from different countries. Uh, it's filled with information that goes across borders, across boundaries, across nationalities, across gender, across age. This is a book for every single human being who is suffering under abusive behaviours. So I'm excited about the potential. I'm an international person myself. So in the practice of tolerance, one's enemy is the best teacher. If you come to me with a problem, then I have something to learn and I will learn it. Right now I've written a book to help people learn it real fast. So they don't waste time falling down under somebody else's disdain or falling down under someone else's dislike or someone else's hostility. I feel that humanity is a global environment, that we are all people, we all have the same dreams and the same desire for happiness and this book is hopefully going to be part of that journey. We need to examine what it is about ourselves that we need to learn. We need to learn it and we need to go on and write some books and do some